we can't <laughs> we can't do any more than that but that is fantastic ladies and gentlemen this is uh these are members of the band pig floyd it is america's greatest pig pink floyd tribute band and as you can tell <laughs> their music is incredible so i have here in the studio kenny and jenny Every generation knows Pink Floyd music, and I know that your show has a lot of light works, and it's it's not just music; yeah, it's, very, it's a whole experience. It's very theatrical, yeah. absolutely theatrical. And our front man is is extremely he, he's a character, and we want our set like whenever you walk in, we want the people to feel like they are walking into the movie The Wall. How big is the band? It's eight members, yeah, correct? It's eight people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, you are. Your lead guitar, I imagine? Guitars. Okay, you gotta get a little closer to this mic. I'm the guitarist. <laughs> okay, you gotta scoot up a little. <laughs> Don't be shy, Kenny. I know he's back because it's okay. <laughs> I think we almost blew out the the um <laughs> the studio here. That sounded great though. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful voice. Um, okay, so there's eight members of the band. And uh, do y'all live in Florida or? Yeah, we're all uh, we're all generally in uh, that Southwest Florida area. Like some of us, uh, he's in Naples. Naples, okay. Um, I'm in Fort Myers. Some of us are in Cape Coral. So we're all in that area, and we all just sort I of. I go from here across Alligator Alley up 75, just about uh, at least once or twice a month. Yeah. So I'm that's a long course. I know that area. And when you get used to it, it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so bad. It's very pleasant. But I got to listen to your music the next time I go across there. Yeah, absolutely. So how long has this band been together? Uh, about three years we've been together. Okay. Uh, the first first show I was was at, um, I literally like had to. You guys gave me. Two weeks to figure out all the backup vocals. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't have to. And then the very first show, I didn't sing "Greg in the Sky" though, because that took me a little bit to 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 get down and yeah, took some time. And you can't sing the song without passion at all. And there's such great music. I was, I'm thinking of all of the big hits, and you perform all of them, I would imagine. Uh, or most yeah, of them. Well, we we do a lot of the Wall and uh, and Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that brings back memories. Wow. Yeah, those, those are our, our, our main focus. Oh, we like fantastic. The old school, yeah. The, old school pick the classic pick stuff. Yeah. And so the light show and all that, it's, oh, yeah. it's a whole. Yeah, we have the lasers. Got to be careful with all those and stuff. There's all the regulations with the lasers. And, uh, Why is that? Uh, just because of, you know. They're uh, powerful enough to yeah. burn your eyes. I just out. can't shoot them in somebody's <laughs> yeah. eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're we're always you know cautious with you know blacking out certain sections and stuff like that. And that's L. Ron's job, uh, Ron's son. Okay. And he's he's the one back there running all the lights and wow. also playing keys and a little bit of playing guitar. guitar it too, must yeah. take you guys forever to set up and break down. It uh, does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> But there's that makes of, me think this show is really parts, worth going yeah. to see. Yeah. Because not it's not it just the music. Yeah. And, and yeah. It, not only is it in the instruments and the music, but there's stage props. Mm -hmm. We're trying to bring in... Um, you a little closer? We're trying to make our stage look more theatrical. Okay. Uh, we're bringing in um, what would make it look like a war zone. Oh. Uh, uh, hedgehogs, anti-military uh, oh, propaganda and stuff like that for wow. the, uh, people to see on stage. Yeah. Yeah. So it's um it's more than just a couple of guys in jeans playing good music. Yeah, the, the musicianship obviously has to be has there, to be the quality. People mm -hmm. go to see a show. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you your first priority is the music's got to be good. Then give them something to look at. So it's a whole experience. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's one thing to to be a musician and play play Pink Floyd music, but it's you got to have the passion behind it. Otherwise, mm -hmm. the crowd's just not going to feel it. Right, right. Yeah, just, but I imagine they really get into it. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine the crowd with the, with the lights and the I, music. I, I love just that first initial. I can almost see the crowd sometimes just like, whoa. They do this like yeah. little lean back. Yeah. And and it's like, yeah. I, I have, okay, you have a very just, powerful voice. We I just hit that. him. We yeah. just hit him. Okay, good. <laughs> wow. So, okay, so you were telling me um, in the green room you have the venue coming up here. Mm -hmm. And then you have you're going to be on the west coast of Florida. Yeah, it's um, the ranch yeah. concert hall. Yeah, ranch. Yeah, we're um, December twenty first. We're going to be at the ranch in Fort Myers. Okay. Yeah. And then you'll uh, be beyond that. I'd have to look at our schedule. Okay. Well, it's, all, it's <laughs> yeah. all on the website. Yes, but it is. For everybody here in South Florida, you have to go to the concert, which is the sixteenth of uh, November, mm -hmm. 
And give me the name of the place again. It's in uh, Palm Beach Gardens. I see. I I see performing arts. Center. I see performing arts center. Okay. And how big is that venue? First time there. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. We'll find out when we <laughs> yeah. show up. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would think that would be a fantastic experience. And remember, everybody, you get ten uh, percent off by putting in Boca when you go to the website to buy the tickets. And um, now, Jenny, I want you to tell me about your baby. Oh, yeah, my little Hazel. You just had a baby <laughs> six months ago? Uh, five months ago. Five yep. months ago. Yep. Wow. My little Hazel Bean. Okay. <laughs> What's going on with Hazel? Uh, she's actually, when she was born, um, I was actually at, they had me at Joe DiMaggio Hospital prior to, oh, wow. prior to giving birth. The children's because, Hospital? Yeah, they were, they had to be ready for her because she, they already knew that she had a congenital heart defect. They knew that um, from doing ultrasounds? Yeah. And, okay. Um, so they preemptively had me over there, and they had her cardiac team ready. Um, and so when uh, when she was born, literally they whisked her away from me and uh, from me and Matthew. Matthew got to see her a little bit, you know, in between oh boy. Uh, my husband. And um, and they, they had to do like a, a pulmonary balloon catheterization on her heart and then she and a newborn yeah oh. and then she that actually didn't quite work out very well they had to do another balloon catheterization plus a, a stent in her pda so she um she's been through quite a bit um poor she's, little thing she's legally blind so oh my goodness. Um, she actually has charge syndrome which is uh okay it's a super rare rare syndrome uh, i guess it affects like chromosome oh, seven oh my goodness but wow. um, it has certain uh, deletions, and so certain things don't form, and CHARGE is an acronym. So CHARGE okay. is for coloboma in the eye, um, H for heart, and atresia, which are the three things that she, she has, because you mm -hmm. have to have three of, of the acronyms. Um, R is retardation of growth, usually because of medical intervention, and uh, the... G is like genital, genital de deformation can either deal with that or, or like even a uh, urinary tract. Oh, and, wow. And um, also uh, E is for ears. So it's actually known as the, bl uh, the blind deaf syndrome. <gasps> oh, my goodness. So she, thank God, we know she's not deaf. Okay. So she is, but she is blind and, but she, she but can hear us. But now legally blind, that. is that completely blind or? She can, she is light sensitive. Okay. On her left eye. She has, uh, besides the coloboma, she also has bilateral detached retinas. So, oh uh, and the left one is partially detached so that she's, she's capable of, of filtering some light through that eye. So, will, yeah, she's will got some, that improve? Uh, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> she's supposed to have another, uh, she's supposed to have a procedure, actually her first procedure on her eyes. So we'll see how that goes. And I, I hope. I hope it goes well. Well, modern because, medicine is incredible. Yeah, it is. It is. It really is. And I like. I'm just so grateful for all the doctors and nurses and stuff that have taken care of her. Oh, like you're in both, the right place, Joe DiMaggio yeah, Hospital. Both, well, <laughs> both Joe DiMaggio Hospital and then closer to home is um, is Galisano Children's Hospital. So that wow. I mean, they all know her well. And I they bet. all love her. Oh. <laughs> and, and, yeah, they know her when she walks in. You know. Oh. Like, yeah. Or, wow. Oh, well, I'm sorry you're dealing with that. Yeah, it's... And I uh, hope she improves. She's a strong little girl. She's going to be something. Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't doubt that. <laughs> oh, okay, well, the best of luck with Thank that. You. I just want to bring that up because I know that's something you're struggling with. Yeah. But you're still here. And oh, yeah, you're still absolutely. I was 35 the weeks pregnant with her singing on stage. Oh, so, my goodness. So oh. she loves Pink Floyd music. <laughs> I bet she knows the music. <laughs> <laughs> she knows mommy's voice for oh, sure. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, I need to hear a little bit about you now. <laughs> Where are you from? You're from Florida too? Naples. Naples. Oh, that's yeah. a beautiful place. Okay. And uh, before this, what were you doing? Were you in another band or? Uh, several local bands. Playing okay. in the clubs on the beach. That's fun that's though. Fun. Yeah, it's that's, a lot of fun. Oh, it's yeah. good extra income. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I have a um, condo in uh, St. Pete Beach area and I love going to all the little bars and just seeing anybody that wants to get up there and perform. Yeah. I love it. I really love that. One so, of my favorite spots on, on Fort Myers Beach is a place called the Lighthouse Tiki Hut. Oh, that sounds like it's, fun. It's just, a, it is. It's a great time. I use an acoustic guitar with a uh, looper pedal 
and it's m- m- my favorite yeah gig. yeah wow he okay very, all the kitties very nice people there. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah oh that sounds like fun I, I would imagine the life of a musician is you just must have fun all the time, right? Uh, well, no, yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, yeah, wait. Not all the right. time. You still gotta get a little closer to this mic. You're making yeah. me nervous. I, uh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I do um, appliance repair for, like, gas heaters, uh-huh. control systems for pools. You got whatnot. a side gig. Yeah, yeah. so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's exactly what well, it is. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I normally oh. sing for weddings, and, and I also sing or work in banquets and stuff. So I yeah, get we that. All have our, I interview a lot of uh, a lot of musicians <laughs> and uh, yeah. and artists on this show, and uh, it's a passion, yeah. and you got to get out there and hustle. But yeah, uh, but you're doing what you love. Oh yeah. Yeah. It doesn't feel like yeah. work when you're doing what you. Well, love. see, that's just it. Yeah. You probably really enjoy getting up there, absolutely, and, uh, and probably the adulation of the crowd when they really get into it. Yeah. I've noticed that when I'm watching a band, when the crowd starts to get into it, then the musicians get into it. Absolutely, and it yeah. just becomes uh, they feed alive. You. They yeah. absolutely feed mm-hmm. you. Uh, like I said, like when it, whenever we start, some of them a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes do they come up on stage? I had one girl at the oh, last yeah, show grabbing at me as I was trying <laughs> to play guitar. They like you, Kenny. <laughs> One of our last songs, um, it's called Comfortably Numb. Oh, we, I love that song. We come down into the crowd and filter through oh, the crowd. Oh, how fun. I have, a, I have a wireless that um, the band purchased. Oh, now I know this is a great band. show. Wow. And uh, we walk out through the crowd and I start playing guitar solos. And next thing I know, I start feeling hands on <laughs> like, paws all over. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why you got into the crowd. <laughs> Well, I, I go out there because I'm told to. <laughs> that's my all-time favorite. So it's like whenever you guys branch off and start playing out in the crowd, or even like when you're doing the m- musical interlude and stuff, or like Shine On, and I'm standing in the back and I'm watching like you guys just all grouping together and playing together, and you're just having so much fun. Like watching your faces is the best. That's no, the I, most I, fun I pay for money me. to see what my face looked like <laughs> when I felt that up on uh. me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, goodness gracious. <laughs> Trying to do something. Here. <laughs> oh, that's I funny. see you, Ron, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, Ron, wow. and Jason, all grouped up in the front, and then oh, you don't go out in the crowd with them. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no. I usually stay. I well, they, I got like a little stand. Sometimes they got mm-hmm. me like, and then they had the little fake sandbags all around us and stuff. So I, I was sort of blocked cool. in a couple times. So. <laughs> so you're not going anywhere. No. <laughs> Plus, in heels, trying to get right. down some stairs, it's, it's a little risky. <laughs> well, it sounds like you both really enjoy what you're yeah. doing. I mean, yeah, it really. You have passion, well, it's, and it's great music. I mean, I, it, it is wasn't, great music. Every time you mention a song, it comes back to me. Yeah, and it's it's not like I didn't. I wasn't in the Pink Floyd era, but I grew up listening to that. That's my you know my parents' music, and mm-hmm. and I just remember when I was sitting in the back of the car and Pink Floyd would come on, my parents would be like, ooh, Floyd. Their whole mood would change, right? <laughs> Turn it up. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I, think, I grew up with. You know, even younger people, they can appreciate it for the music. Oh, absolutely. It because it's, it's, it's unusual. It's not like any other band. It's not, yeah, not at all. It's not totally all. different. Yeah, it's not, it's not simple. Right. And it's not, it, it's, it's not emotionless. Mm-hmm. It's it's just so much more, and it and it needs to be shared for each generation. It yeah. needs to be continued on, and that's why you know why we're all about all the Pink Floyd tribute bands and stuff. Where you know it's that we love it too. Yeah, we, you know yeah. we're all about it. We're, and like we're I said, the, my young nieces and nephews <laughs> love the music yeah. too. Yeah. And I suppose there's some remakes too. That uh, are rappers doing Pink Floyd now? Are they using any of their music? Oh, I don't know. I would imagine sure. so. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Well, what I do notice is, is one of the things when I first started doing this was that when I'd walk out to the edge of the stage, where I noticed it presently was at a place called Janice Live. Oh, oh yeah. is that in downtown St. Pete? Yes. I want to know when you guys play there. I will be there. We play Janice Live, and I walk to the edge of the stage, and I look across to where I could have definition of people's faces and whatnot and then after a certain distance it's just a, a, bla- a mass you can't blur. see yeah but um, i'm looking down in front of me and over here i have a gentleman that has a world war ii cap on 
gentleman right in front of me has a Vietnam cap on. Oh, yeah. You have a veteran's connection. And then I look connection. over here and I have oh, two 18-year-olds yeah, really. just bouncing up and down, just having a blast, wow. singing the words to the song. Really? Okay. And that, that's See? one of the things I noticed is, is that this particular band, whether they know it or not, they have spanned generations. Which is amazing. Mm -hmm. their, there aren't their, too many bands that do that. Their music will be around many, many years ago after secular music, popular music for that decade is long gone. Mm -hmm. the, this band will probably be listened to 150 years from now. Mm -hmm. I oh, agree yeah. with you. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. The if music is farther. iconic. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what, what do you think makes their music different from, uh, from all other bands out there? When I, when I started listening to Floyd and got influenced, I was very young. And one of the things I really noticed was is that unlike the same bands from that time era, one of the major things I noticed is, is that their songs had a start and a stop. Hmm. When I listen to Pink Floyd or you put the CD in, you can't tell where one song starts and one yeah, song ends. Yeah, right. So it, it, it intrigued me, and then I actually tried to define where the starts and stops were, and I found out that it isn't a stop and start at all. They did it that way intentionally. It's a continuous story. If you listen oh. to the lyrics and decipher the lyrics oh, and what it's saying, have to... okay. it's actually, the whole thing is actually what I would classify as a rock and roll opera. Ooh, I like that. Musical storytelling. And is that the way you perform it? You Absolutely. go right from one song yeah. to the other? We try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I personally, one of my um, suggestions when we first started the band was that I've watched many different Pink Floyd tribute bands, watched what they did, studied what they did. And one thing I noticed is, is that most of the time, me, my friends, people I don't even know, talk to. When you put a Pink Floyd CD in, you just put it in and let it roll. Yeah. You don't have a favorite song. They're all good. Yeah, you're right yeah. about that. You're right about that. So one thing I did get on one of our very first shows, which was in Inglewood, a gentleman walked up to me and said, I absolutely love how you rolled like the CD. One song, he's like, I was expecting that song to come up, and lo and behold, you got it. Oh, and you got it in the right order. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> play, like the record. play the songs in the order. Like <laughs> yeah. The record. yeah. Right. Now, some, yeah, record. Yeah, yeah record. Yeah. Who remembers <laughs> records? Right. I remember eight track tapes. <laughs> Unfortunately, our show is a certain time length, so some of the stuff we've omitted yeah. because some of the stuff on the albums is just kind of like background noises or. Yes. You know, you know, people running through a hallway and, yeah. and having a, just I a small that. conversation. Sometimes we do some of that organically. Uh -huh. And we yeah, do a lot of the speaking. A lot of the background speaking. I've listened to Floyd my whole life, and I'm what you call a Floyd head, and I even know what the a Floyd background, head. Yes, <laughs> the background vocals. Okay, we only got a couple of minutes, so okay. I'm going to have you guys sing us out. But before that, I want to tell everybody you can go to the website, pigfloydinc.com, and buy your tickets for the 16th of uh, November in uh, West Palm or Palm Beach Gardens and you get 10% uh, off by putting in the word code word BOCA B-O-C-A and uh, you're gonna sing us out and hang on a second here okay go ahead okay sorry we gotta go <laughs> been watching and listening to the Becky and Boca show. Tune in every Thursday night at 6 p.m. to discover all the ways to spoil yourself and have a good time in beautiful Boca Raton. See you next week. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.